Hey y'all, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about some upgrades that I'm going to have in my 2021 bow setup. This will be a probably a two to three part series. The first one today will be hey bud. The first one today will be on this new CBE Tactic Hybrid site. I went with this site because the versatility of it and it has a light, which if I plan on doing a little bit of hog hunting at night, I think that'll help out quite a bit. It has micro adjusts for windage and elevation. You can also set a floating pin. Your third pin can be floating and you can keep it at 40 or 35 and go all the way to 100. For this site, I did pick the three pin site, as you can see. And so I went ahead and unboxed it, and this is everything you get in the box. You get your instruction booklet, the site, which is relatively light actually. You get your little rheostat light, two mounting screws, and some slide tables here for your distances. All right, so first what I'm gonna do is install this light. So what they say is you've got to unscrew this top piece and there's a little film protecting the batteries there. Yep, so you can see it's this little film. So take that off and then screw it back in. And I'm not sure if you can see that, but it has a little knob to shut it on and off. So we'll keep it off for now. And so that's gonna screw in to this piece here. What I'm gonna do is, it, and it doesn't really have great directions on this, but I'm gonna pull out some of the, let's see if I can do it, the fiber out a little bit so that I can fit the fibers in this little hole here. So I'm gonna Mount it such like that, and then we'll just screw that in. And I would just hand tighten it. It does light it up pretty good. So I think that'll actually help a lot in hog hunting. So another reason I chose this site and to upgrade a site for this year was because I'm using heavy arrows I can only get my sight down to about 30, 35 yards max. Um, and not like I'm going to be really shooting animals beyond that distance. But I do think there is some benefit to being able to practice out to 50, 60, 70, 80, even 100 yards if you want to. I think it makes you a better archer at the closer ranges just because you know you have to be as steady as possible at those long ranges and as accurate as possible to be able to be on target. So we're gonna go ahead and install this site. What's kind of nice is it has three mounting options here and I'm gonna install it as low as possible because again, I'm using heavier arrows and a slower bow so I know it's gonna drop. I'm gonna go ahead and take my existing site off. I've got an Allen wrench here. So I gotta take this off. This is my little do-it-yourself bow hook for saddle hunting. Now I'll go ahead and take the sight off. So I have my old sight off as you can see. And I'll install my new sight. So it actually looks like I can't really install on the lowest hole. Because I'm hitting the riser here. So I'm gonna install in this middle hole right here. And I'll use the two screws that they provided. We'll go ahead and mount that. And so you don't wanna over tighten these, you just want them to be snug. So we'll go ahead and add the quiver mount back on, as well as my hook. Get that tightened down. So now we've got the sight on. This is a little heavier 
than my other site. So I may end up having to add a back bar stabilizer or something like that to help stabilize it out, but we'll see how that turns out once I shoot it some. All right, so as I mentioned before, I do want to get this kind of set in the lowest starting position as possible. So I'm going to undo these elevation screws a little bit so I can slide it down. And you can actually, there's multiple holes you can screw it in. So I'm going to take this one all the way out so that I can move which hole it's in. So that I can slide it down all the way. So then we'll tighten that back up. So now it's at the lowest position that it can go on my specific bow. And if I need to move these, I can do that, but I just figured knowing my bow and knowing my arrow setup that I'm gonna need it to be set pretty low to start. So now that I have that set up in position, we can go ahead and take some practice shots. We're outside now, it's a balmy, what, 29 degrees. So we're gonna go ahead and get this sight sighted in. You'll need some Allen wrenches to be able to adjust some of the pins. And so it's also nice if you look down at the big target to have a, a good sized target to sight this in so you can see where your arrow goes and you don't screw up any of your arrows. So what I'm gonna do is I've already taken a few shots. And if you'll come over and look at the pins here, I have the three pins. I'm gonna raise this first pin all the way to the top. And because I couldn't, if you look here, I couldn't lower, set this up like I talked about earlier on the lowest point, I really can't get it where I want it to go. So I may end up using a grinder to cut this off here so I can lower it down to this last hole. But for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise that pin up to the tallest point because I'm not gonna end up using it. And then I'm gonna sight in the second pin at 20 and the third pin at 30, and that third pin will be my floater. To do this, you want to open up this latch here that allows you to move your slider up and down. And you really want your slider to be at the lowest point because that's kind of your rapid stop when you come up to your pin. You want it to stop at that 30 yard or 40 yard mark, whatever your rapid stop is. So you'll want to lock that back down. This here moves the sight left and right. It's your horizontal changes or your windage. So I went ahead and pulled back on the bow a few times to line it up with my peep sight so that I am lined up and I can see the whole sight frame in there. And so now we'll take a couple of shots and go ahead and sight the 20 yard pin in. So we're about 10 yards away and you'll want to start taking a couple of shots. I usually take one or two just to make sure it's in the right spot. So we'll go look at those. So you can see I'm a little left and a little low. And since we're shooting at 10 yards, we really want to kind of be a little high. So I'll make a couple minor adjustments and we'll back up to 20 yards and get it sighted in. So when you're adjusting your sight, you follow the arrow. So since I was a little low, I'm gonna unscrew this point right here. That's that pin and I'm going to lower it down a tad and then tighten that back up. And then as far as left and right, that's this thing here. So I was a little left, so I want my rest to go a little bit left as well. So I'm gonna turn this to the right and that pushes the, le the rest to the left. Now we're at 20 yards and we'll take a couple shots. You can see I'm still low at 20 yards. And if you look at my pins, that's what I was shooting at was that middle pin there. I really won't be able to get any lower. So what I think I'm gonna have to do is lower this rapid stop down, which is not really what I wanna do. So I really think I'm gonna have to grind that off to get what I want. But for the case of this, we'll go ahead and lower this guy down a tad, tighten it back up, and we'll take a few more shots. So I'm still a little low and a little left. So again, I'm gonna drop this down a tad here, 
tighten it back up. Then I'm also going to twist this to the right and see how that does. So it looks like I'm still a little low. So I think I'm dialed in here at 20 yards now, so we'll take a couple shots to verify. So you can see my first two shots were pretty close, then this third shot was a little left. But overall as a group, and I'm pretty close, I may tweak it a little bit as I practice some more, but otherwise that's pretty much how you set up your yardage pins on the CBE Tactic Hybrid. I can only get out to about 30 yards here in my backyard, so I'm just gonna set up my two pins at 20 and 30. And then when I get out to the property and I have a little more distance, because you have to be able to get out to 60 yards to be able to set up your slide ruler on it. So I'll take a video of me doing that in a later episode. But I just wanted to show you all how I set up the 20 and 30 yard pin on the CBE hybrid tactic. Thanks for watching.